What's going on my family and welcome back to Israel's Movie Reviews. And today we're going to be discussing Van Damme's Kickboxer 1989. Uh, this movie was a springboard, obviously, to his success. Uh, this is a Van Damme classic with some incredible training sequences, an engrossing story, and wonderful performances from the cast uh, besides Van Damme himself. Um, this is basically a story of two brothers who the older brother goes out, he's a fighter, and he is on the top of his game. He eventually ends up winning an opponent to get him into a championship. And in that championship, he meets a fighter that's worth uh, the fight. That fighter ends up injuring him severely and leaves him wheelchair bound. And his younger brother vows in his defense to train and avenge the brother for being paralyzed. And uh, this movie is a straight classic. Uh, we went over Bloodsport, we went over Cyborg, but this is the movie that catapulted him into superstardom. Um, this movie started him in the direction uh, that he ultimately went in. In the 90s, in the early 2000s, all you heard was Van Damme, and uh, deservingly so. Uh, this movie is a Van Damme classic with some incredible training sequences. Uh, like I said before, an engrossing story and uh, wonderful performances. All the characters, in my point of view, are wonderful, uh, fleshed out for the most part. And it has some awesome humor in it as well. Uh, plus, Van Damme is simply amazing uh, in this uh, usually played uh, karate film. Uh, the opening is extremely powerful stuff. Um, when Tang Po paralyzes his brother in the in the film, uh, and that scene when Van Damme is kicking the tree with full force, man, it made me cringe. You know, definitely looked like he was in pain. Um, plus, the main fight at the end between Van Damme and Michelle Kwesi was absolutely fantastic um, and quite brutal, very visceral. Uh, Van Damme had excellent chemistry with his uh, co-star Dennis Chan, uh, Dennis Alexio and Rochelle Oshana. And I thought Van Damme's acting was uh, up to par, fantastic in this film. Uh, plus Stephen Lee is awesome as uh, the slime ball. I was so happy when Van Damme kicked him in the face towards the end of the movie. The scene where Van Damme breaks down when he learns his brother will be paralyzed uh, was a sight to see also. You saw him trying to get into that dramatic feel, that dramatic aspect. Uh, and it's very moving and hilarious at the same time. What made it hilarious is the little stuttering bit that he does. But other than that, he did a very, a very, very convincing job, in my opinion. Plus, the dialogue was awesome. Um, of course, the critics at that think that time, uh, as I saw different kind of reviews, they panned this film, and once again, I can see why. Uh, it's one of the best martial arts films out there, and I thought it was very well written. Plus, the film, the the fight choreography by Van Damme is simply entertaining, it's awesome. The dancing scene where Van Damme gets drunk in the bar, that goes down as a cinematic classic. Just that scene, shit was hilarious. Uh, plus the location of that was fantastic. It has great cheesy, charming uh, lines at times. Um, the scenes with Van Damme and Dex's, uh, Dennis Alexio uh, were just great. Plus, it has some pretty catchy tunes as well. Um, while not quite as good as Bloodsport, uh, then again, what martial, right? what martial arts movie is, um, in my opinion, that movie was the shit. It's still one of my favorites, though. And it's a classic with some incredible training sequences. And this is something that you won't regret watching. Uh, the direction of the film is badass. Uh, Mark DeSalle and David Wirth both do a wonderful job at um, keeping the film at an extreme fast pace. Um, the fantastic camera work, the, the awesome angles, and uh, the use of these great locations in the film very, worked well. The acting's wonderful. Like I mentioned, Jean Claude Van Damme's amazing as always, um, especially this about his third, fourth film at this time. And he's amazing here. He's extremely, extremely likable. Um, He's very convincing, fantastic. And that acting department had excellent chemistry with Dennis Chan and his other co-workers 
who made it seem like, who made him probably seem, uh, got him very relaxed and focused. And um, they did just an amazing job as a whole, as a collective. And only had a couple of moments where he fell off, in my opinion. Um, he impressed the hell out of me with these training scenes. Um, he's an amazing martial artist, as we know. Um, he rules. And, you know, Dennis Alexia was awesome as his brother. He was a bit of an ass at first, towards the beginning of the movie. Uh, but I found him likable, very likable afterwards, um, as he humbled himself throughout the movie. He's also an amazing martial artist himself. Um, Dennis Chan is amazing as Van Damme's teacher and mentor. He's extremely hilarious, very likable. He cracked me up throughout the whole runtime. And he has some wonderful scenes with Van Damme. I love them. Um, Michelle Cuisi is fantastic as the main villain. He's very, very brooding, very menacing. Uh, he's scary. There's times where you think he's gonna break Van Damme like he did the brother. Um, he scared the crap out of me, man. Um, as he was very cold, ruthless. And um, to be honest with you, I was happy when he got what was coming to him, right? Towards the end of the film. Without spoiling a little too much. One of the most chilling performances in my opinion. You know, uh, Haskell V. Anderson is great as Taylor. Uh, he's very likable and a good sense of humor, which um, if you see this film, everybody is going to like him. Uh, Rochelle Shannon, who plays the female lead, um, does a fun job of what she has to do in the film. She's not given that much, but she's pretty good. She had great chemistry with Van Damme and did a good job overall. I liked her a lot. Steve Lee's excellent as a slime ball. I hated him and <laughs> shouted at the movie when... Van Damme gave him a kick in the face. I was so happy for that. Uh, the rest of the cast did great. Overall, this is a classic. Um, I think that although this movie does have, I think, three of the sequels, I think the second movie is arguably better than uh, most of the films, but this one definitely kicked off everything. Um, Van Damme, after this movie, blew up. Like I said before, he eventually started in such movies as uh, hard target, sudden left, uh, and I recommend you watch this one uh, as we get into the other ones later on in different reviews. But definitely go check this one out. I give this movie an 8 out of 10, easily. So if you liked this video, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and if you want more content from me, all you gotta do is subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.